The major problem with minor scales is that there are so many different types of them. There are tons of them. So in this tutorial, we're going to talk about 10 different types of minor scales. I'm going to tell you what they are, where they come from, and how you can use them. So let's get started. This tutorial does have a free PDF download to help you keep track of all of your different types of minor scales. The link is in the video description below, so make sure you download the free PDF. The first thing we need to address is what makes something minor. And the answer to that is actually pretty easy. It's when you have a lowered third. And music, oftentimes you're going to hear that referred to as a flat third. But when you have a lowered or flat third, that makes it minor as long as you have a major fifth as well. So if you have a flat third and a flat fifth or a lowered third and a lowered fifth, that puts you in the land of diminished. And we don't really want to talk about that today. So to have a minor scale, when you have a minor scale, that means you have a lowered third and a major fifth. Pretty simple, right? We have a lowered third and a major fifth, and then you have some type of minor scale. So let's start off by talking about where the minor scales come from. And the easiest way to do that is to talk about the three minor modes. To talk about the modes, we need to dive into the world of theory. So a mode is when you play a scale based off of a different scale degree in the major scale. So if you play the C major scale from C to C, that is the first mode, that's called Ionian. If you start the C major scale on the second note, which would be a D, and you play from D to D in the key of C, that would be your second mode, and that would be Dorian. If you play from E to E, which is the third, that would be the Phrygian mode, so on and so forth. Every note in the major scale has a mode that you can play starting on that note. And in this tutorial, we're going to focus in on the minor modes. There are three different minor modes. They are the Dorian mode, which starts on the two, the Phrygian mode that starts on the three, and the Aeolian mode, which starts on the six. Now, if we do these based on the same major scale, it's going to make it really difficult to compare the different types of modes that we're talking about, because we would have D Dorian minor, E Phrygian minor, and A, Aeolian minor, and it would be really difficult to see how those scales are similar and different. So we're going to do all of these scales in the examples with the same root. We're going to do them with the root of a C. So we're going to talk about, so we're going to talk about C, Dorian minor, C, Phrygian minor, and C, Aeolian minor. That way it's super easy to see the differences between the modes. The first mode we're going to talk about is the Dorian mode that starts on the second degree. When you start a scale on the second degree, that gives you a flat third and a flat seventh, also known as a lowered third and a lowered seventh. You're going to hear me use those terms interchangeably throughout this tutorial. So in the key of C Dorian minor, that would give us an E flat and a B flat, and it would sound like this. When it comes to using this scale in improvisation, there are two places where you're going to use it a lot. The first is over a two chord when you're playing a two five one, because the two is the Dorian mode. And also there are some modal songs out there like So What, Impressions, and Little Sunflower that use the Dorian mode as the main scale that the song is built on. However, usually songs are not built on the Dorian mode. Usually the Dorian mode is used specifically for improvising over a two chord. Now we're going to take this Dorian minor mode and change one note and turn it into the Aeolian mode. So the Aeolian mode has a lowered third, a lowered sixth, and a lowered seventh. So the only difference between the Dorian minor and the Aeolian minor is the Aeolian minor also has a lowered sixth. This is what it sounds like. For the C Aeolian minor mode, you would have a lowered third, which would be the E flat, a lowered sixth, which would be the A flat, and the lowered seventh, which would be the B flat. The Aeolian mode is super, super, super important. We're going to talk a lot more about it in just a minute. But when it comes to improvising using an Aeolian mode, you're going to use it over a six chord because it is the mode built on the sixth. And it is also a tonal center. So just like you have a major tonal center, Aeolian is the minor tonal center. Again, we're going to talk a lot more about that in just one minute. But Aeolian is super important. Now we're going to change one note again 
and turn the Aeolian mode into the Phrygian mode. So the Phrygian mode comes from the third degree of the major scale, and it has a flat second, a flat third, a flat sixth, and a flat seventh. So the only difference between the Aeolian mode and the Phrygian mode is that the Phrygian mode has a flat second. This is what it sounds like. For the C Phrygian minor scale, you would have a lowered second, which would be the D flat, a lowered third, which would be the E flat, a lowered sixth, which would be the A flat, and a lowered seventh, which would be the B flat. As you can hear, the Phrygian minor mode has a darker sound to it, and that is because of the lowered second. So that gives it a darker sound. The Phrygian mode is not super common. It's not something I use a lot. Uh, you can use it over a three chord, although when I have a three chord, oftentimes I do more chord outlines than using the whole scale. But the Phrygian minor scale would definitely work over a three chord. Now there is also a Phrygian dominant scale that has a major third, but this video is about minor scales, so we won't be talking about the Phrygian dominant scale today. Those were the three minor modes. Now let's move on to what I call the scale types, and those are all based around the Aeolian mode. Now, most people don't call the Aeolian mode the Aeolian mode. They call it the natural minor scale. The natural minor scale and the Aeolian minor mode are the exact same thing. It is the minor scale that has the flat third, the flat sixth, and the flat seventh. So you're going to hear people refer to this scale as natural minor way more than Aeolian minor. Now, natural minor is super important because it is a tonal center. It is the main minor type of scale. So when you hear someone say major or minor, they're talking about the major scale or the natural minor scale. So the natural minor scale is the generic minor, the main minor. It is the one that is a tonal center that other chords are working around. So it's super important. You definitely want to learn your natural minor scales. Again, this is what the natural minor, also known as Aeolian minor scale sounds like. For the C natural minor scale, you would have a lowered third, which would be the E flat, a lowered sixth, which would be an A flat, and a lowered seventh, which would be a B flat. Now we're gonna take this natural minor scale and change one note and turn it into a different type of scale, and that is the harmonic minor scale. So the harmonic minor scale has a very unique sound to it because it has a flat third, a flat sixth, and a major seventh. For the C harmonic minor scale, you would have a lowered third, which is the E flat, and a lowered sixth, which is the A flat, and of course you have a major seventh, which would be a B natural. This is definitely my favorite minor scale. I love the sound of this scale. I use it in improv all of the time. If you have a favorite minor scale, let me know what it is in the comments below. One of the things I love the most about the harmonic minor scale is the way it sounds when you change directions at the top. My favorite place to use the harmonic minor in improvisation is over the five chord in a minor two, five, one. So to do that, you would use the harmonic minor of the one chord over the five chord in the minor two, five, one. That gives you a really unique sound and is gonna make your minor two, five, one sound really, really cool. Next up, we have the melodic minor scale, which only has a lowered third. So it's a major scale with a lowered third. Because it has a lowered third and a major fifth, that makes it a minor scale. So for C melodic minor, it would be from C to C with just an E flat. So you have a major sixth and a major seventh. This is what it sounds like. When you're improvising, you can use the C melodic minor scale when you have a minor chord with a major seven. For example, C minor with a major seven. Now, there is something else we need to talk about when it comes to melodic minor. In the world of improvisation and jazz, the melodic minor just has a flat third, but in the classical world, when we're playing the melodic minor scale, it has the flat third going up and coming down, it has a flat third, flat sixth, flat seventh, which is natural minor.
Now we're going to talk about some terms that can get really confusing because they are comparison terms when it comes to minor scales. So the first one is relative minor. So you have relative major and relative minor. And what that means is the major scale and the natural minor scale that has the same key signature. The major scale and the natural minor scale that has the same key signature. So if you have a C major scale, then the A natural minor scale would have the same key signature. So C major and A minor are relative major and relative minor because they have the same key signature. This is what they sound like when you play them back to back. Then we have parallel major and minor. Parallel major and minor. What that means is the major scale and the natural minor scale that start on the same root. So it has nothing to do with the key signature. It has to do with the root they start on. So C major and C natural minor are parallel major and minor because they are the major scale and the natural minor scale that start on the same root. This is what they sound like when you play them back to back. So relative means the same key signature and parallel means the same root. The last two type of minor scales that we're going to talk about are what I call the specialty or improv type of scales. So they're not your normal seven different note type of scales. The first one is the minor pentatonic scale, which has a one, a flat three, a lower third, which is what makes it minor, a four, a five, and a flat seven. So for C minor pentatonic, you would have C, E flat, F, G, B flat, and C. This is what it sounds like. And then we can turn that minor pentatonic scale into a blue scale by adding the tritone. The tritone is the sharp four, which you can also refer to it as a flat five. So in this case, in the case of C of the C blue scale, we would add in an F sharp. So the notes would be C, E flat, F, F sharp, G, B flat, and C. And this is what it sounds like. The minor pentatonic scale and the blues scale are both used all over the place in improvisation. Now that you've watched this video, the major confusion with minor scales should be gone. You now know 10 different types of minor scales, what they are, where they come from, and how some of them are used in improvisation. If you'd like to learn step-by-step -step how to improvise using the Dorian minor, natural minor, pentatonic minor, blue scale, and harmonic minor scales, come check me out at the Scott Paddock Sax School. In my improv courses, I cover all of the minor madness that you need to figure out. I'll put the link to the Sax School in the video description below.